Do you know who he is? I actually do not. Have you ever heard of Drew Weissman? I haven't, actually. Okay. Um, actually, I do not know who he is. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. <laughs> At UPenn, yeah, I know him. No, I never not that He studies RNA. I would have read about his work, but I might not know the name. Everybody wants to talk to Drew Weissman right now. Yeah, that's very actually exciting. Wow. Yeah, well, he's basically behind the mRNA revolution, so that's really exciting. So I am so excited and honored that Drew Weissman is coming to UB. That's thrilling. It, that's awesome. Oh, it's such a great tale, right? And it's belief in yourself and perseverance is critically important in science. We're gonna do this and we're gonna make it happen. And then it goes completely left sometimes. Even though like everyone was telling him he, it wouldn't work. And be able to prove other people wrong. It'd be cool to hear it directly from someone who had a part in it. I think as a grad student, that would be very encouraging to listen to. Somebody who has kind of worked in the trenches, a little bit unknown, and now all of a sudden their really interesting, basic, fundamental research became super important. That's really inspiring to me as a junior scientist. To hear that he muddled through, <laughs> that they muddled through that same sense of, we have something great, oh wait, no one else thinks we have something great. Yeah, the joke is always that science is just a massive group project. You have an idea of what it can do, but you don't always know everything where it's going to go. That's why we call it research. You search again and again and again. It doesn't always have the answers, but what's beautiful about it is that we can just keep searching for them. Many times this is what leads to breakthroughs and great discovery. With this vaccine, there's so much misinformation and so much distrust. So I think it, it would be very, very beneficial for the public. Dr. Wiseman's group was involved with one of the three critical steps. I'd love to hear about his moments of doubt and how he was able to overcome that. They saved a billion lives.